What's up, everybody? We've got ourselves a Seahawks move, and it's one that a lot of people were feeling like might come. It's one that people started talking about as this day went on. It's not really something I was thinking about before today, necessarily. He wasn't even on my list, but now that the move has been made, it does kind of make sense to me with the benefit of hindsight. The Seahawks have brought Jerron Reed back into the fold to be part of the defense. Two years, $10.8 million. So, kind of, <laughs> it's kind of amusing that you, uh, yesterday, early in the day, you released Shelby Harris. And you bring in, clearly the guy meant to replace Shelby Harris. And then this morning, you, re you release Quentin Jefferson. And you now bring in the guy clearly intended to replace Quentin Jefferson on a very similar contract. So, Jerron Reed, I I don't know. I just don't see that much with him. The last couple years, he just hasn't been much of a presence in terms of pass rush. I think he has like five sacks in 34 games played over the last two years. So, he, he's playing games. He's piling up snaps. He's getting opportunities to put up numbers. And I just don't see the production there. I think that at this point, he's probably just kind of a warm body, maybe slightly more than a warm body. So if we had brought him in for like one year, two million, or one year, two and a half million, maybe, that would have been fine. But to me, two years, 10 million, even though I understand what we're, what's probably going to happen here is that the first year is going to have a cap hit of like three and a half million. And then the second year, we're going to probably release him, and he'll make like $2 million. I understand it's probably more like a one-year, $5.5 million deal that splits across two years in actual effect. He's just... If we're going to get somebody on the level of a Jerron Reed, I would have preferred it to be a little less money. And if we're going to go get somebody for a multi-year deal that is theoretically up to $11 million in value... I would have wanted to go get somebody who has a more chance to be a different ma maker. I don't think he's that good against the run anymore, by the way. Um, he hasn't been particularly good against the run in some time, according to any source that I care to look at. I'll do more research into it later. He's not a player that I've dug into a lot lately because he was kind of an afterthought to me. But Jerron Reed, I mean, um, we needed defensive line depth, admittedly, but... I would have liked to have gone either a little bit cheaper or a little bit better. This is uh, kind of stuck in the middle for me. All right. We'll see what happens over the next hour plus, but uh, those are my thoughts on the Jerron Reed signing. Let me know what you guys think down below.